Disney's Adventure Stories. Aladdin and the King of Thieves, a treasure lost, a treasure found. Aladdin could not believe the news he had just heard from the oracle. His father was alive. Princess Jasmine and Aladdin were to be wed, but Jasmine encouraged him to go find his father. Take as long as you need, she said. Aladdin hugged the princess. I'll be back in time for our wedding, I promise. The oracle had told him that his father was with the forty thieves. Thinking that his father was their prisoner, Aladdin flew off on the magic carpet with Abu and Iago and picked up the trail of the thieves. He caught up with them at the edge of the sea. Aladdin held back and watched from a safe distance. Open sesame, cried their leader. Suddenly, the waters parted like magic, and the thieves rode through on their horses. Just before the waves crashed in again, Aladdin sneaked in behind them. On the other side of the water, Aladdin found himself in the thieves' secret lair, but he could not stay hidden. Before long, Aladdin and the king of thieves were standing face to face. It was his father, Kasim. He was not the thieves' prisoner. He was their leader. Kasim was shocked to see his son. The rest of the thieves were outraged. The boy is an intruder, cried Saluk. The menacing thief wore sharp golden claws on his hand. And we have rules about intruders. He must die. Kasim did not want Aladdin to be killed. But he could not appear weak in front of his men. He knew that Aladdin had only one chance for survival. My son should face the challenge, he said. 
Aladdin would have to face a look in a battle to the death. The thief was strong, but Aladdin was smart and quick. He dodged Saluk's sharp claws and tried to defend himself. Even when the foes battled their way onto a dangerous cliff ledge, Aladdin did not back down. Finally, Saluk lost his balance and fell into the water below. Kasim smiled proudly. Aladdin had faced the challenge and won. Now he was officially a member of the 40 Thieves. Later that night, Kasim told his long-lost son of a great treasure that he was seeking. It was called the Hand of Midas, and everything it touched turned to solid gold. Aladdin was angry, so this was the reason that his... father had not been a part of his life. All through Aladdin's childhood, Kasim had been off searching for treasure. Kasim tried to explain himself to his son. I knew exactly what I wanted for my family, the best we never wanted gold. We wanted you, Aladdin said. I wanted a father. I still do. Come to my wedding. Kasim did come back to the palace with Aladdin. But it was only to get his hands on the oracle. He hoped the magical staff could tell him where to find the priceless treasure, the Hand of Midas. When Aladdin found out about his father's motives, he was hurt and angry. He sent his father off with the oracle to find his treasure and said goodbye hoping that Kasim was out of his life forever. But then Aladdin learned from Yago the parrot that Kasim was in trouble. Saluk was alive. He had turned against Kasim and taken him captive. Aladdin knew he had to help. Kasim may have turned his back on his family, but Aladdin would not make the same mistake. So, with Jasmine, the genie, Yago, and Abu, Aladdin flew off on the magic carpet to rescue his father. The vanishing isle, Gasp Aladdin. A beautiful island rose out of the sea on the back of a great turtle. It was the home 
of the hand of Midas. Saluk had taken the oracle from Kasim and used it to find the treasure. Aladdin found his father and Saluk in the city on the isle. Jumping from a nearby rooftop, Aladdin knocked Saluk to the ground. He and Kasim got away and found the temple that contained the hand of Midas. All of a sudden, there was water rushing at them. The great turtle was diving and soon the vanishing isle would be underwater. Together, Aladdin and Kasim climbed to the hand of Midas. Be careful, Kasim warned Aladdin. Don't touch the golden hand. Aladdin carefully threw the treasure to his father. And Kasim caught it in his robe. Instantly, the cloth turned to gold. But Saluk had caught up with them, and he had Aladdin trapped. Give the hand of Midas to me, Kasim, Saluk ordered, or your son dies. Kasim threw the treasure to his enemy. Saluk caught it in his hands. The greedy thief became a golden statue. He fell like a stone into the water. Aladdin and Kasim carefully recovered the treasure and scrambled to escape the rising water. When they were safe, the king of thieves took one last look at the hand of Midas. This wretched thing almost cost me the ultimate treasure said Kasim. He hugged Aladdin. It's you, son. You are my ultimate treasure. I'm sorry it took me this long to realize it. Then he threw the hand of Midas away. Together, Kasim and Aladdin returned to Agrabah to celebrate the wedding as a family at last. The end.